Hey, ooh. Ooh, you already know what time it is today. By the time this video, yes, sir, we got them. We got the green, the blue, and the red. Ooh, wait. They are. Let me tell you how I got them. So, look, I got them there. I got them fair and square. I just hit my raffles. I guess God, you know, God is seeing it. Everything good I've been doing. I mean, I've been doing everything straight, like a straight line. Not no crooked line, not no go straight in like that, you know. And I make sure I kept no secrets, and I kept it a hundred with everybody around me. So I guess he just touched me on top of my head, on top of my back, and said, You know what? I got something for you. When I looked at him, I looked up at him, I was like, What's the deal? What's happening? And he just blessed me. Fair point blank. Don't hate, appreciate it. anyway. Y'all you know? came here for the unboxing the shoe. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, this box is actually kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. But it's like a mirror strong box. I can't completely see myself. I look into the box. I can kind of see my reflection good. But it's still made out of cardboard. So it's not perfectly mirrored like how you look in the mirror. Like when you look at yourself in the bathroom. But if I look at myself through this box, I can still see my facial features. My eyes, my nose, my lips. And the hoodie that's around my head. Pop has Nike uh, check sign with R right here. Going around the box, you have a hole right here. Another hole right here. This is wrapping paper. Another hole right here. So coming around the box, you can see the green shoe. You can also see right here. Coming around the box, then you have more holes. Three holes on this side. One, two, three. Coming around the box again, they got a size 15. Let's get right into it. When we open up the box, we are greeted with different wrapping paper. Off white with the off in red. Y2013. Then you have your white paper. Fill one white paper back, and boom, we're greeted with the shoe. Bro, this shoe was gigantic. Looking at my first initial look at the shoe after taking out the box, it's actually not bad. I'd rock it. It looked cool. Let's get into a little bit more detail of the shoe. We come to the front. White toe box with a green lip around it. White midsole and green bottoms. Green shoelaces. Green check. White middle. The heel counter is green. Now turning it from the back. A green heel tab. White writing. It says Nike. Then moving right below the green, you have a little patch of white right here. Now moving around the shoe, it's the same exact design on the other side of the shoe. We also have a little orange tab right here and most notably now this orange right here is an actual shoelace it does have little black eyelids that keep the shoe in place also notice we see on the shoe is the white zip tag right here another thing also about this shoe is the green shoelaces do have shoelace written on them. I can't fuck the legs down. You also have your tag tied to the uh, the shoe lid. Also inside the shoe, you have a yellow insole. It is in the same paper that was used as the wrapping paper. It's basically the same design as the inside the shoe. I did say it's written shoelace on the green lace. It's also written shoelace on the orange lace. The actual tongue of the shoe is cut, where you can see the fabric poking out of it. The tongue is white. Other than that, I'll let you guys also see both the shoes together. There's both sides of the shoe. The other side of both shoes. Here's the back of the shoe. Here's the bottom of both shoes. And here's the top view of both shoes. The red one that I picked up, this red one is a size 7. We look inside the box, you're going to still be greeted by the same uh, color paper that was also in the green one. The only thing that's really different is from this box and the green box is obviously the red ones. So if we take the shoe out, you can see that obviously it's a different color. But other than that, um, materials are the same. The orange stream, the extra lace set is the same. The zip tie, the same. The inside of the shoe that I showed you guys from the green shoe, the same. I'll show you guys. Left shoe, this is the left shoe that I'm holding. And the right shoe in my hand, up close to the camera. Here's the sides. Here's the back. The other side of the shoe. The bottoms. And the top. Well, I got the blues also. Size seven and a half. Let's get right into the unboxing. And blue ones ain't half bad, y'all. I don't really need to go in detail with these dunks. Only thing different is just the color. This specific colorway sports University Gold in Midnight Navy. All right, time to take an up close look at the navy, 
University Gold Off-White Dunks. All right, here's the front of both shoes. Here's the side of both shoes. All right, now, here's the back of both shoes. Here's the other side. Here's the bottom of both shoes. Here is the top view of both shoes. Now it's time for the review. Okay, so not a bad shoe at all. These are pretty nice in my opinion. I like the color, I like the style. I like how we put the extra shoelace zigzagging on each side of the shoe. It gives it some style, it gives it a look. When I'm walking down the street, people look and say, oh, look at that, I haven't seen that before, you feel me? It's kind of sticking out, it's kind of different. The leather is actually nice on it, it's buttery soft. Looks really good, they did a good job on this one. Looks really nice. If I had all three in my size, hell yeah, I'd be wearing them. I think this is the best color. Blue one, probably gonna be my least favorite, but not bad. Red one, second best. I give the green ones a nine, close to a 10. What's missing from it is a 10. I don't know. In order for me to give something a 10, that means I really, 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 really gotta like it. But I do really like these. For my review of the red pair, this red kind of pops. Will make it look hotter if the gray is actually white. I feel like I would have bought the shoe out more. I would have caught more attention to the shoe because the red is bright and white is bright. So why not have two bright colors contrasting with each other? The gray, it's not bad. If I already give this shoe one out of 10, I give it a, mm, I would give it an eight, but I'm pretty sure with a real fly outfit, these will push me to an eight and a half. Like I said, not a bad shoe, but the only thing that I probably would change about this shoe is instead of having a gray toe box, a gray mid, and just having that gray color set of that white color that's on the uh, green pair, I will have white. Okay, so time for a review. Now, like I said earlier, this is not a bad shoe. This is not an ugly off. shoe, but it is my least favorite colorway of the shoe. Doesn't mean that I would not rock it. I would definitely rock it. On a nice day, on a beach day, i rather rock my red or my green ones, mainly more my green ones than my blue ones. But I still, you know, maybe if I'm not feeling my green ones on that day, I might just rock my blue ones. If I gave the blue ones a one out of 10, I give them an eight. Eight meaning that they could be thrown on every other day, you feel me? This is more like an everyday shoe. The green one and the red one are not everyday. Those are more like, shoes that I'll wear to a party or to a nice event. But anyway, did you like or did you love this unboxing? I got not one, not two, but all three colorways up close and personal unboxing off-white dunks for y'all. That would mean a lot to me if you can, you know, share this with your homie. If y'all both like shoes or share this with the homies. If y'all all like shoes and y'all all like to look at unboxings, maybe y'all took L's, y'all wanna see them in person unboxing and maybe my y'all like my review. Go ahead and share it. Greatly appreciate it if you can help this channel grow. And if you like it, go ahead and like it. And if you really, really like this video, why not go ahead and sub? Anyway, though, it's been your boy's eye. I right, then.